For the ultimate no compromises compact gaming PC, look no further than the Obsidian Series 250D from Corsair. Click now to learn more. Shopping for a graphics card is tough. AMD has all kinds of technologies like Crossfire, True Audio, Mantle, great OpenCL performance, and HD 3D, while NVIDIA has SLI, G-Sync, 3D Vision, CUDA, PhysX, and GameStream. And no matter how much you spend on your computer, you can't have all of these things at the same time. Or can you? This is it. The ultimate no compromises gaming machine. The Neum Davidia Titadeon 3000 Ultra XT Platinum Edition. It's got a Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of Dominator memory, and most importantly, two GTX 780 Ti's in SLI, and two Radeon R9 290X's in Crossfire. Simply choose which graphics card vendor you want powering the system at any given time, fire up your game, and enjoy all the exclusive technologies from both sides on one computer. Truthfully guys, this is not a joke. Here are some Far Cry 3 benchmarks at 2560 by 1440, very high preset, and this hulking beast of a system can be yours for the value price of only $5,000. And you're sitting there asking yourself, is he kidding or am, am I missing something here? Good question. Guys, this video isn't intended to convince you to run out and put a handful of different graphics cards in your system to make sure that you're not missing out on anything. That would be crazy. And therein lies the true purpose of this video. For the average gamer, shopping for a graphics card is already hard enough. Graphics cards are major purchases, so there's a lot of research to do. On top of the price, you have to consider performance in the games you play, cooling, and then you have to pick between a dozen different brands that are all available. And now, with the introduction of AMD's Mantle API and NVIDIA G-Sync technology, it feels like on top of all of that, gamers have to decide months or even years ahead of time how they want to experience their games, rather than just if they want to experience them because you can only have one and you're going to be stuck with it until you replace it. We've seen this before with PhysX, but most people didn't notice or care because PhysX never saw widespread adoption and beyond franchises like Batman and games like Borderlands 2, the gameplay experience was never really affected much by its implementation. Right now is different though. Right now, Mantle and G-Sync look like they may be widely supported and shoppers will have to choose at the time of purchase whether they want smooth, paced frames with G-Sync graphics, uh, with a G-Sync graphics card and display, or Mantle's so far unparalleled ability to leverage multi-core CPUs, along with some tidy GPU performance improvements, and they have to pick all of this without even knowing things like whether future titles they want to play will support Mantle, or whether or not G-Sync monitors will be worth buying. What the hardware guys are asking us to do is crazy. If this is the solution for a gamer to have every experience each game developer intended, then isn't it time for something to change? And this doesn't even address individual games that will support cross-vendor technologies like Star Citizen. Nothing I do can let me experience Mantle and PhysX in that game when it comes out at the same time. I will always be not quite getting the full experience. Now. I'm not going to say who's wrong or right. In fact, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, as long as you can keep it civil about it in the comments below or in the discussion thread on LinusTechTips.com that you can find linked in the video description. So, you know, let me know what you think, because I really do want to know. Now, with all that said, the Titadeon 3000 here actually works really well. In fact, switching between Crossfire and SLI is as simple as hooking up the primary card for each of them to a single monitor with two different inputs, so I'm using DisplayPort and DVI, then changing the primary display in the Windows Display Manager. Uh, a, a reasonably modern monitor will auto-detect when you switch the signal loss from one input and then pick up the new one at the same time. I tried a couple of different monitors and games and the process actually worked really seamlessly, to my surprise. Uh, the NVIDIA driver doesn't like to do some things with the AMD one running in the background, like switch between single card and SLI, which I had to do during my benchmarking, but you can force close ccc.exe, make whatever changes, then relaunch the AMD control panel and they both run just fine at the same time for most things. 
Um, oh yeah, and one last thing, guys. Before everyone gets mad and points out that AMD has said they're planning to open Mantle up to other vendors as a standard, because I was talking about it as a proprietary thing, don't worry, I know. However, right now today, for shoppers, there's no guarantee they'll do it, and there's certainly no guarantee that other GPU makers, notably Intel and Nvidia, will use it. So my point still stands. Gamers shopping now are making decisions based on faith and guesses rather than solid facts. I mean, it's console exclusives all over again, and we see the direction that that's headed. It's all about the games, and it needs to be, not about the hardware that people choose. Speaking of things that aren't about the hardware, head on over to audible.com slash Linus to check out their monthly audiobook subscription plan. You can get one audiobook per month to listen to in the car, or on your smartphone or tablet, when you're out and about, or really anywhere else. And the first one is absolutely free when you sign up. They've got over 1,000, well, 1,000, 150,000 audiobooks with everything from 50-hour unabridged novels to 39-minute options like Fall For Me by Belladonna Bordeaux. If you're getting something done and you don't have a ton of time, and you want something to listen to for a few minutes. So guys, that's audible.com slash Linus to learn more. And anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment, as I said before, letting me know what you think needs to be done. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Oh, actually, and if you're still watching right now, I did mention Star Citizen earlier in the video. We've been kind of pimping it lately. Uh, you should definitely join our Star Citizen organization. So you can head over to Linus Tech Tips Forum, and there will be a link in the video description. Definitely come join us. We're already bigger than Reddit. Although that's not a challenge to Reddit, because Reddit's kind of big. But, but right now, Star Citizen, we're winning.